Hi, this is Doc with HackingJungle.com and today we're going to flash a Samsung drive using the connectivity kit on Jungle Flasher 1.7. Alright, first thing we're going to do is we're going to power the drive on and open the tray in a halfway mode. We go back over here to the computer and we're going to open up Jungle Flasher. If you need any help too, just visit HackingJungle.com. Guys over there are great. Um, they'll help you out best they can. Okay, right here we got in drive properties, we got our drive. Um, a lot of you might have to mess with your I.O. port. Um, sometimes it'll say no uh, drive found. What I'll do is i just do an intro and it'll set it, find it, and set it in a vendor mode. So first thing we're going to do is click intro. Um, a lot of people use the Sammy unlock bar and everything. I don't. I don't. It's going to tell us we have to click yes and power cycle the drive, which will hit yes, and then we'll turn at the same time, right afterwards, quickly, turn the drive on and then back off. As you can see, now my drive is in, in vendor mode. And then we click read. Basically, right now, we're reading the drive's firmware. And the one thing about Samsung's, it's not so bad as reading. It's just writing. I mean, while well, it's writing the firmware, you, you can go have a cup of coffee or... Uh, you know, to do what you got to do. Now, I have a, um, you can save firmware wherever you want. Just be sure to save it in case something happens. Um, I have a folder for my dump firmware. Right here, it'll ask you if you want to load your um, target firmware. Um, just click yes as long as you have your firmware in the firmware folder. I don't because I just set this one up. Um, I have a firmware folder, though. Click on your Samsung folder your Samsung bin file and this is very important make sure you click spoof source to target save your firmware these saves are very important I get a lot of phone calls somebody tried to flash or drive themselves and uh, they didn't get their keys now we're gonna go to MTK flash okay and then all we're gonna do now is click right and it's writing the firmware now. Now this is uh, the long part as far as Samsung's go. Um, Tachis aren't so bad. Um, Light-ons are uh, pretty quick usually, um, even if you got to use the probe. Um, just writing the firmware is quick. Um, BenQs are very quick. Um, they're probably one of my favorite drives. Out of all the drives I get in, they seem like they uh, hold up the best. Um, I see more light-ons than BenQs, even though they're a newer drive. I see more Samsungs uh, than any other drive, and uh, a lot of the problems with the Samsungs is the drives don't open properly. Um, I found the rubber bands over at the Dollar Tree, um, like a buck for a pack of 500. They work great for the Samsungs fixing it. I mean, I tried drive grease, everything, them rubber bands uh, change out the belt. They work phenomenal. Um, the lasers go pretty quick. Uh, we'll sh I'll do a tutorial on how to calibrate them. Um, sometimes that'll just that'll just prolong the life of them, maybe a few months if you're lucky. All right, now we're finished writing. We're gonna go over here to outro. Click outro, and there's our drive back to normal. Um, very important you click outro. Close the drive. Power it off. Unhook everything. Um, when you X out, just make sure you save your firmware. Please visit HackingJungle.com. Um, we got a great help for them. Um, it's going to be one of the greatest sites, period. Um, please visit us. Thank you.